So hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video here to kind of explain a little bit more about the composite resin material that I use to create pin blanks with. Uh, it's called polyester resin. Uh, this particular kind is Silmar 41 casting resin. It uses a catalyst which is methyl ethyl ketone peroxide. Um, that is a 10 to or 10 drops per ounce mix ratio. A um, little less will probably take a little longer to cure. A little more might make the blank a little harder and a little more brittle. Um, this stuff, uh, fresh out of the can, kind of has a blue tint to it. Um, it it definitely has a a chemically smell to it. Um, and once the the blank is it is being turned it kind of almost has a soapy smell to it um, but you definitely want to use this stuff uh, in a ventilated area if uh, you're going to be using it for very long at all or with a with a respirator probably both would, would work better um, it does produce a an exothermic reaction so it's kicking out a lot of heat um, this mold that I use uh, gets really really hot to the touch at the bottom when it's pretty close to being uh, completed on the cure. Um, this one I get from US Composites, as you can see here. Uh, it's just uscomposites.com. They sell a wide variety of these type of resins uh, for, for various applications for table tabletop. Um, and this one is specifically for casting uh, solid shapes. Um, this company out of Florida, um, you can get one of these gallon cans uh, for around $50 shipped, depending on where you're at in the United States. They, uh, they do a real good job with their ordering system. Website is a little bit, a uh, little bit old, a little bit older. Um, so you do have to, every time you order, put in a lot of information and credit card, everything like that. Um, the other place that you can get this is Michael's. Um, especially good to get it with one of their 20% or 30% off coupons for a single item. Uh, you can get close to the you know per ounce cost that you're going to be buying this for. Um, the only issue there is the age. Um, they they will of course get it um, on pallets. Uh, it could easily be weeks to months by the time it gets out there on the shelf and no longer you know no, no one knows how long it's going to sit on that shelf until it gets sold so this bluish tint you see here in this material that's going to tell you that that is a, a fresh material sometimes you'll be totally clear uh, or almost have a yellowish tint especially when you have a yellowish tint to it it's uh it's going to be older um now a lot of folks that make these blanks and that turn these uh, turn pins out of these will will default over to Alumalite. Um, Alumalite is a great product. Uh, it's by weight mix one to one, um, an A and a B side. It uh, actually I have some over here. This is the Alumalite clear uh, A and B side there. And it just depends on your your type of blank you're you're using. Each one uh, has a, has a good application. The Alumalite does to get all the bubbles out of it. Really require a pressure pot to be used correctly, um, and it takes longer uh, longer to cure. At least, to, in my opinion, um, when when using it, um, I don't think I can get a good a shine uh, on the Alumalite as I can using the very same methods on the Silmar 41 polyester. Um, the molds differ, the type of mold release differs. Um, so you just kind of have to know your application and what you're needing to use it for. So this stuff, as I said with the other uh, Alumalite, you do need to use a pressure pot. It wouldn't hurt to use a pressure pot with this. However, as I said, it's an exothermic reaction. So a lot of times this will get hot enough, drive a lot of bubbles out, and I, I don't end up with issues um, if it's cured correctly with a lot of voids and bubbles inside the blanks. So it's 
not really been an issue for me in the past. So I, I just wanted to do a video to kind of show you again, US Composites, great place to get this stuff. It does come with the MEKP hardener. Um, and again, that is a 10 drops per ounce ratio. Their website will tell you all about it if you're using larger amounts. Um, and this, again, you know, this is your, your color you're kind of looking for that you can expect. It will dry completely clear um, if just cured in this state. Um, but mix, mix in uh, any type of colorants, mica, mica powders like uh, Perlex or uh, actually the Alumalite dyes work really, really well with it. So uh, again, Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.